Guess where this is? Any takers? If I make, can I make it a little bit bigger? There we go. Let's see if you can. Uh, where where do you think that might be? Is that a, a body lying on the floor after a mass shooting? Is, is it? Did someone? Did someone walking down uh, a hallway just slip in a puddle and they're about to they're about to get up? No, no, no. Uh, that's a passed out homeless person in O'Hare Airport, Sh- Chicago, Chicago's O'Hare. It's out of control. None of us feel safe. Von Keisha Chapman. I don't. That's probably not what Von Keisha sounds like. <laughs> she probably Von Keisha. Yeah, it's not Von Keisha Wozniewski. It's <laughs> a, con- a custodian who who works the over the overnight. Yeah, Von Keisha on the overnight. Uh, <laughs> told uh, told <laughs> in Terminal One and Two. Told CBS News Chapman said she and her coworkers have been harassed by un- unwelcome guests who leave litter behind and trash. Trash the bathrooms. Uh, <laughs> they will come up behind you. This one man followed us last night. Another airport port worker, Catherine Thompson, told the news outlet, from the time we get here until the time we leave in the morning, they will be here. Uh, the two women said their supervisors tell them to call the police, but they claim the cops told them they can't intervene unless the workers are, I love this, physically touched. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. Sorry, lady, we can't do anything about it unless they actually touch you. Yeah, see if you can egg them on. Um, this is incredible. Like, this is just like, this is like the Port Authority, except the Port Authority is at least a bus terminal, right? There is some, I understand that when you go to a bus terminal, um, there is some assumption that there will be a handful of scumbags around, right? The, there's the Greyhound bus operates out of the Port Authority bus terminal. And, you know, that is really, you know, Greyhound is Amtrak for America's dirt bags. Um, so I get that there are going to be uh, unsavory types hanging around the Port Authority. Um, but generally speaking, I think when we think when we, you talk about the airport now kind of shifting back to that, you should be able to safely assume that the only people who will be inside the airport will be workers and ticketed passengers, right? And even in the bus, the bus station, I expect there to be scumbags, but I expect those scumbags to be of the type who at least can afford a bus ticket. That should really be the bare minimum for being inside the fucking bus stop. Um, the cops said uh, they just tell us to be careful because it's out of their hands. Like they can't do anything. Chapman said, this is just fucking incredible how the airline industry has gone through a massive metamorphosis over, over the decades, right? It used to be a sort of luxury activity. People would be wearing suits and and dresses and sipping cocktails and smoking cigarettes. Um, Then, you know, then 9-11 happened and airport uh, airports kind of became these fortresses where you couldn't even wear shoes because there was a a possibility that you might be carrying a bomb inside of your your sneakers. Um, And then at some point we decided that terrorism is kind of over. We will fast track you through the fucking security line. Uh, You know, this is now, this is now a place to spend 20 bucks on a Heineken and, you know, maybe blow somebody in a bathroom stall. uh, If you know, if you're a closeted uh, gentleman on, you know, uh, getting a a few days away from your family. Uh, And we finally just kind of, of landed at, at homeless shelter. Now it's the airport is now just a homeless shelter if you go on you go on a plane, you might get the shit beat out of you um, by either the staff or a fellow passenger. Uh, it's it's really, really gotten to an interesting place. Like it, 
and when I say homeless shelter, I mean in the most literal sense. Um, you have guys with Al Qaeda beards and no shoes bumming cigarettes and possibly blowing each other in the bathroom. Like that is that is a fucking homeless shelter. Um, Jessica Du Dubour Dubar with the Haymarket Center, which serves the homeless at the at the airport, serves the homeless at the airport is not a, a phrase that we should ever need. Uh, she told CBS News that the numbers are increasing year to year. Um, asked why the homeless are sleeping at O'Hare and not going to shelters, Dubar said, they're full. The shelters are full. A lot of folks don't end up at the airport because that's their goal. That is the last option they have. But that's the thing is, the airport shouldn't be an option. It's not... Oh, the shelter is full. Let's head to the airport. That isn't a reasonable option. And I I understand if you're sleeping in the park or under a bench uh, or, or at a church, um, I, I get that. And those are places where if I see a homeless guy, I'm like, okay, that's, you know, you go, you go where you go. Um, you know, we'd be better off without you there, but what you know, the fuck are you going to do? Um, and I, I understand from the homeless perspective, why they might try to get inside like an airport or an ATM vestibule or something like that. But the idea that there are non homeless people who see this as a viable option is what is so perplexing, right? If, if Al Qaeda wants to attack us, they should just have all their guys act homeless. Fuck it. Act, just act, you grow, you got the fucking beard. Just walk around. Literally, you could wear the same shit that you wear in Afghanistan. It's just a pile of fucking rags and a long beard. And you come right over. And, you know, the next thing, you're walking around Times Square. And people, you know, you shit your pants once. And everyone will literally think that you just came down from uh, from whatever, whatever your drug of choice is. PCP, fucking heroin, whatever. Uh, and then you you blow up, you detonate the the suicide vest, and you go get some some virgin pussy up in uh, in paradise. Um, you know, they go go to the airport. You'll have the whole fucking run of the airport. They will let you no questions asked. Um, Haymarket Center is funded by the Chicago Department of Aviation and the Department of Family Support Services. Our Jan January at O'Hare was one of the busiest Januaries we ever had, Dubar told uh, Block Club Chicago, a nonprofit news site. We were seeing more individuals and more encounters uh, new to our system. And again, the only people using the phrase our January at O'Hare was one of the busiest Januaries we've ever had. Uh, the only people saying that should be people who should work for the airlines, right? That should be a reference to flight traffic or sales at the duty-free shop. Uh, it shouldn't be in reference to, to vagrants who are shacking up in Terminal C. Um, so work to be done for the next mayor of Chicago. See, ya. See how it goes. Larry, Larry Lightfoot lost. I don't know if that's, that's as good as Chicago as I can do. Ditka. Hey, you hear about this this guy from uh, the Titans was holding hands with some kind of queer? Ditka would never do that. Um, let me get that out of here and pull up. This is a cool fucking picture. This story is, is very interesting.